starts with the quarterback stance. If your stance isn't fundamentally sound underneath the center or in the shotgun, that leads to other problems in your footwork as well as your throwing motion. First things first, feet, shoulder width apart, not too wide, not too narrow, shoulder width apart, somewhere where it feels comfortable. Second, your weight distribution. It needs to be on the midfoot, the balls of your foot. You should be able to slide a credit card underneath your heel to where you're not back on your heels, you're not up on your toes, you're right there with your knees slightly bent inside because as quarterbacks, we work on the edges of our cleats. It's a lateral position. We don't work up on our toes, we work on the edges of our cleats. We've got to have our cleats in the ground at all times. If you watch Tom Brady and those guys, they have their cleats in the ground at all times. It starts with your stance under center. With your stance, you can even either go square with your feet or you can go staggered, whichever one feels most comfortable. If I'm a right-hander, I want to make sure that my left foot, my left toe, is even with the midfoot of my right foot, the mid part of my right foot right there in a staggered stance, making sure I'm not too far back, okay? Never stagger your right foot if you're a right-hander because now you left your left foot in the way of a pulling guard and you've decreased your separation and your depth away from center on your first step, all right? Shoulders over knees, that's the fourth point. Shoulders must be over the knees. I can't be too tall. I can't be leaned over too much. As I let my hands hang down, I want to make sure that my elbow's almost in a locked out position, about 98% straight. If it's bent and I have to go down to get the center snap, I've got too much play in my hands because my elbow was bent and that causes an inconsistent snap between the quarterback and center exchange. Making sure that they're right here. Last thing is eyes down the field. Too many quarterbacks on all levels, including the NFL, look down at the court, uh, look down at the center before they get the snap. When they do that, they lose valuable time and information knowing what's going on between pre-snap read and post-snap read. Making sure that my eyes are down the field and I can scan the field peripherally.